I'll run out of interp at near the end of the program. But this here, um, <laughs> we have a ton of this. This is all stinging nettle. So have you guys have heard of uh, like poison ivy or poison uh -huh. oak? Yeah. <laughs> There's no poison ivy in Alberta or even really. Is there poison ivy in BC? Uh, so. Not that I know of. Yeah. There's poison oak in Ontario, like east. This is stinging nettle. This is kind of what, if somebody says, oh, I got poison ivy or something. In Alberta, this is what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, these, uh, this, this nettle. And what it does, it has, uh, it has little fibers on the bottom of the leaves that cause the reaction. It's like a little uh, a bug bite. It's like a little mosquito bite that you would, ha you would have. You get a little rash and it just itches. It doesn't, uh, it's just because the, the nettle's in there and your it creates a little reaction to your body. But this stuff, this plant is actually edible. Um, so you can pick it, you can brew it like in a tea, you can boil it and eat it. Um, it's actually quite healthy for you. It helps with digestion. Uh, so it's, it's really, really, really yeah. good that way. <laughs> Another cool thing with this, that's my favorite thing with this, in the winter time, this will still be like this. It'll just be all dead leaves, but it'll be poking out of the snow. You can just grab it with your hands and pull off all the leaves and it's not, it won't sting you. But if you go into the bark, so if you go into the, if you kind of peel open the bark and go inside, you'll see uh, it's almost like silk, the silk fibers. And you can take that silk out and you braid it together and it makes a very, very fine thread or string, but it's extremely strong. It's like silk, it's as strong as silk. If you've ever tried to pull silk apart, it's very strong. This is that strong as well. So it's a really good, cool way. I've done it. It's one of my favorite things to do is you make string out of it because it's really long. Uh, when you pull the whole stock, you can make a really long thread like that just by braiding it together. And then you can braid those threads together and make a really strong rope. And it's really, really cool. Um, and we've tested, I've, my buddies and I have joked or like tried to break it and do all that kind of stuff. And it's very strong.